hi hello babies welcome back to another video if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by please don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and kindly subscribe as well guys today's video is about my natural hair wash day after protective styling for four or more weeks in this particular video my hair was in protective style for six weeks plus so after taking out my braids I put my um, hair tea in my hair and covered it for about 15 minutes. Then I proceeded to wash my hair. This was my first time using clay marks on my hair. So I proceeded to mix it with my apple cider vinegar. And I made sure the apple cider vinegar had the mother in it because that one has more nutrients and benefits for my hair. Then I mix it with a plastic spoon in a ceramic bowl. Please do not, use, uh, do not use metal items, either spoon or bowl, because it will decrease the properties of the nutrients of the product. So I went ahead and drained my hair with water, then I started applying them all. So you see me applying it, okay? I did apply some to my face because it's also beneficial for your face as well. It helps to block all your pores and then remove all the dirt on your face. So after about 15 minutes again, I went ahead and washed everything off. It took a long while guys, it took me about 20 to 30 minutes. I was even getting tired, but then it's okay, it's all good. So I went ahead and shampoo again. Usually, you don't need to shampoo after using clay masks, but because my hair had been in a protective style for a while, I prefer to shampoo because I knew shampooing my hair would have made me feel better and my hair would have felt better as well. So I did that, had a little scalp massage, then I rinsed the shampoo out as well. I proceeded to deep condition with one of my all-time favorite deep conditioners. I added a little oil to the one I applied to my edges because my edges are very thin and fragile and I want to grow them back. Then after applying all the deep conditioner throughout my hair, I let it sit for about um, 30 minutes with heat and more than 30 minutes without heat. So this was just a little dance break. And Anyways, after the 30 minutes, I'll come back and then you guys will see how my hair is looking like, okay? The 30 minutes is up and it's now time for me to detangle my hair and rinse out the deep conditioner. So I drench my hair with a little water in order to help me to be able to detangle easily. I start detangling my hair section by section, going in smaller sections so that I do not rip my hair out. I do this very gently throughout the entire detangling process. So guys, as you can see in this clip, you can see some of my hair hanging around. This is an indication that there is time for me to trim my hair. Although I did trim my hair three months ago. I'm not sure why I still need a trim that fast, but that's usually one indication of um, split ends for me. So you guys should watch this and learn something from it. Like if you see this, then you should know that it's a sign for you to trim as well. All right. After the entire detangling process, I proceed to rinse out the deep conditioner for my hair. I do this very very gently to make sure that I do not have any leftover deep conditioners because I prefer my hair to be entirely clean of deep conditioners. Then I proceed to moisturize my hair. 
I already did half of my hair off camera, so I start off by putting the leave-in conditioner in my hair, my entire half of hair. Then I proceed to um, section them into smaller pieces, add my curling cream, followed by my shea butter. I do this to every section that I will braid. As you can see, I make sure I put um, the products in my hair. I massage the products in, in order for it to penetrate into my hair. Then I comb from the ends towards the roots every single time I put all those products in the section. I make sure I comb from the ends to the roots. Then I proceed to braid. I do this throughout the entire rest of my hair. So keep on watching. So here is a tip for all natural hair girlies, especially those of us with fine natural hair. Whenever you in your hair, you need to be very, very gentle. You need to take extra care of your hair. You need to be extra gentle because if you don't, your hair is going to break at every single chance it gets. Which we do not like because breakage means we are not going to see length at the end of the day. So please be very gentle when handling your hair. If you are wondering whether this is my final hairstyle or not, this isn't. I usually do this hairstyle in order to prep my hair for the actual hairstyle because this helps stretches my hair without heat and it's so easy to do. It can literally take me like 30 minutes or less to do this. That's why I do it often. At the end of the video, you will see how I usually style my hair. After putting it into this sunken base, so stay tuned. After putting my hair into this chunky base, I went ahead and oil my scalp and massage it as well. I do this for about 5 to 10 minutes. I make sure I get every section of my scalp and massage it very gently in order to stimulate blood flow to my scalp and help promote hair growth. That's the whole shed hair I lost throughout this entire wash day. So these are some of the ways to which I could style my hair. I could wear it under wigs. I could wear it under scarves. I could take them out and wear an afro. And most of the time, I do these mini trays after taking them out. Yeah, so natural hair isn't boring. Thank you guys for watching. Ooh.